welcome to this video where I'm going to talk through how to use the macro keys on your Alienware uh, laptop. Uh, I bought my Alienware second hand and it came with no instructions and uh, it took me a little while to work out how to use the macro keys. Um, now I know how to use them, they're really useful uh, for a number of different tasks. I was looking for a video and uh, instructions and uh, didn't really find one that was helpful so I thought I'd make one. So what you want to do then is obviously load up your Alien Command Center and then you're going to go to FX and this is the uh, section of the Command Center where you can change your different colors and keyboard colors and uh, the, the LEDs. Go to Macros and select the Alienware keyboard. Okay, so what you've got here is the uh, five macro keys down the left hand side. These also obviously appear on your real keyboard. And then you've got the button at the top. Now the button at the top allows you to toggle through three different settings if you like. So you've actually got three lots of five, 15 different um, macros that you can set up. So the idea is that you create five macros for setting one and then you go to setting two and you'd create another five and then setting three and create another five macros for that giving you a total of 15 macros for your profile how do you create a macro then that's the most important question so let me just show you one first of all um, this is under number one and I have a macro um, here which is called open work email and on the keyboard I'm simply now just going to press the macro button number one and that will load up on the screen so macro button number one and this opens up my uh, work email which I've set and if I go to um, settings or the second set of macros, I've got this one. Now this opens up Facebook Live videos. So again, I'm going to, uh, I've already changed on, on there, but you can see on the insert that that's the yellow, blue, the kind of ready, orangey one. Press the top one and this opens up the Facebook Live videos. So let's have a look how you create a macro. The first thing you want to do is obviously go to create new macro. Now you've got four different options and this is the uh, part that confused me for a while. Let me just talk through the, uh, the different macros. So the easiest one is the text blocks. This is for inserting a block of text. So if you are um, working in a business and you constantly use the address, you could add the address to a text block. You can add a shortcut to a program or a website and obviously you saw the previous two examples um, of the macros and they opened up Facebook and email. So you can open a program, open a folder and I'll show you how to do that later. In the macro setting you can record a set of keystrokes. So if you are playing a game or editing a video or if you have your own personalized set of keystrokes that you use for particular jobs then you can record them in here. And finally, you can enter a simple keystroke such as um, Control S for save um, and then assign that to a macro. So let's have a look at the text box one first. So this one's going to be called address. Give it a name so you know what the macro is. And in here, I'm just going to put in the address. So I'm going to make one up. Okay, you can also get it to repeat. So if this was a text that you wanted to insert regularly or a number of times every second, you can uh, you can hold these down, select these options. Um, for me, I just obviously want it to go in, in once. So what's going to happen is when I press the macro button, it's then going to put this address into a Word document. Press save. 
Now if I go here my macros you will see that I've got the um, address on here. I can edit it by clicking the little pen and this is the bit that took me a while to work out. You then have to drag the macro onto the key that you want it assigned to. So this is set one or the first five and I want it assigned to key number two. Don't forget to press save. Okay, now I'm going to go to a Word document, new Word document, and I'm going to press macro key number two, and you'll see it puts the text in. Okay, so that's a really useful uh, macro to use uh, if you need a text one. Okay, let's have a look at another uh, macro then. So we're going to go new macro and this time we're going to go shortcut. So I want to open up a particular folder on my computer. Um, I'm just going to call this work folder or something. Open work folder. And I find the folder that I want to open. So I'm going to get browse. There's my work stuff. In fact, let's go for a um, actual document. Okay, and that has now been added to this macro. We click save. Okay, and now what I need to do is to uh, assign this to the key. So we'll go to key number five this time. If you want to assign it to a different one, then obviously go to number two and assign it there. Okay, We can um, right click as well to remove it. So click there, right click, remove the macro. Right, so I've removed the macro from set, set one and I'm now going to put it in set two. It's here, open work folder. Click save and uh, we'll minimize this. This doesn't, it's not going to actually open up a work folder. This is going to uh, um, open up a word document so here we go it's going to toggle through the colors so you've got blue then that ready color number five and there we go opens up the word document next up new macro. This time we're going to do a macro for a set of keystrokes that you normally use. Now um, this is probably becoming more um, specific or bespoke for your needs but basically we click here for the name and then we record and it will record the keystrokes that you do and also how long you hold them down for. So this is probably um, useful if you've got a say a video editing program where you use a set of key structures to get a particular setting or in a um, in Photoshop or photo editing software where you use a particular key combination to select um, a specific filter or um, settings of a filter. Press stop once you're done, save it, then assign it as um, as before. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to sign this one because I haven't really set it to anything. It's quite good for um, games as well. So if there is a, um, a particular combination of keys and changing weapon or um, uh, in, you know up, up, upgrading um, some weapons or something like that in a game, then rather than having to press three or four different keys together, you can press one key um, and uh, one macro key and get the, the same result. So if you imagine if you're moving forward and you wanted to jump as well, you might press W and spacebar. Uh, in this one you could assign it. So record, we go spacebar, okay, and then assign that to key number two. And each time you want to jump and move forward, then you can press two instead of having to press the W and the space bar. Just means uh, less less stretching. The last macro then is the keystroke. So again this is like your normal shortcut keys. Um, I'm going to go something simple like, um, what should we have? 
let's have uh, control D so we're gonna go uh, minimize windows so minimize window this is what it's gonna be called um, we're gonna have uh, shift and D I think I got that there. Oh, now this is one of the problems when you start doing this is you have to remember that it's there. Here we go. Right. Press save. Save. Close that. Assign it to the macro. Save the theme. And then if we minimize, press the button now, we are then able to minimize it. Okay, so I hope that gives you a quick overview of how to use them. Um, they are really useful now that I've actually understood how they how they work um, and how to assign them. Uh, it just means that you can um, save um, having to press lots of keys. Uh, one useful one I found it for was in a particular program I had to press Control um, Alt delete and press the key um, the the mouse at the same time in order to take a screenshot and um, or, or in order to level up the screenshot so I assigned a macro to that which was which was quite useful okay if you've got some good macros then let me know um, if you've got any more feedback let me know and uh, thanks very much for watching Thank you.